And then at this point, the sew is pretty much up, right? So they cut 130 of 150 of us, sent them home to come back later to watch the show and then work it out. So anyways, uh, there's 20 of us, me and my buddy Ben, who got me the job, and like 18 others, right? And there's a roadie on the stage, at the back end of the stage, which is upstage, and uh, two on the floor, right? And the guy on the stage says, okay, any of you guys uh, have a drum set and play in a band? No one says nothing. Uh, any of you guys ever play in a band? Nothing, right? Crickets again. Any of you guys uh, have a drum set or have a drum set anytime? Nobody says a word, right? And then uh, he says a couple more and then finally he says, any of you guys take drums in band class in elementary or high school even? My buddy Benson well, Ross took drums in band class in elementary, his last two years in elementary school and through high school. And he knew that because I told him this, right? That's the only experience I ever had with drums. So I never owned a drum set because uh, my dad wouldn't buy me one for a hundred reasons. But anyways, so he said, well, Ross, get up here. You're our new drum tech for Kiss. I'm like, all right. So I get up on stage there and he gives me four, three or four pieces of photocop pictures of the drum set, Peter Chris's drum set. And then he said, uh, Shows me the marker tape on the, on the on Peter's stage, and then he says, I'll leave you with this, have a good time, right? And I'm like, what the, okay. Anyways, I have set up a drum set in high school, I changed it, whatever it happened, but uh, I was not a great drummer. Back then I was, I could read and write fluently drum notes, but not anymore, right? Now I'm in my 30s, right? Early 30s, I remember, 32, 33. So anyways, um, he leaves me alone, I take my time, I set it up, and I must have been and done okay because uh, he says, hey, well, maybe you didn't have to right to do the sound check, the pre-sound check before the band. I said, uh, what do I got to do? He said, well, all you got to do is just, you know, he tells you to hit a top dog, you just hit a top dog. And he says, hit it again. All right. So anyways, just before I got my house, two house, uh, front of house, Brody's out in front of the house, right? And they're sitting there with their boards, right? There's a board on two boards there, and like most bands are, right? One's for lights, one's for sound, right? Sometimes they're both for sound, and then lights are over beside the stage sometimes, or stage uh, left, which would be the right-hand side of the stage. Because when you say stage left, stage right, you look from the back going towards the audience. That's right, that's left. So. What you look at from the audience is stage right, but it's on the left side of the stage, okay? And there's upstage and downstage. You know what, which is which? Well, I do. Brody told me, he says, back in the day, they used to put the orchestra on the back of the stage and the singers in front, right? And they called that upstage because they would have layers, like one seat row here, go up a bit, another seat row, another seat row, and that's where the musicians would be, you know, trumpet players and and saxophone players and stuff like that, right? So that's upstage, and if you walk to the front of the stage, that's downstage, okay? So anyways, um, oh yeah, so anyways, he says, okay, uh, you ready to do sound check? I'm, yeah, yeah, we can do that. So I got the two roadies out there, friend of the house watch, looking at me, and I'm holding my sticks like this, totally upside down, and I made sure they saw that, right? There's also two other roadies just hanging out there, kind of wasting time, right? So anyways, I'm sitting there like this, and I say, okay, before we start, I'm going to show you a really cool drum step trick that you're going to like, right? But if you see me doing anything wrong with the sound check or this or that or anything, please tell me uh, right away because for obvious reasons, uh, maybe I might do something wrong. So, my first time. So I'm holding like this, and I'm making sure they see them upside down, right? So one of them says, hey Ross, you're holding your sticks wrong. I look, like I'm looking behind them, right? And I'm, Holy fuck! So all four of these guys, they turn their whole body and everything around, they're looking. As they look, I went, yes. <laughs> so, they're looking. 
looking and looking and looking, and finally they don't see nothing, so they turn back around. And I said, did you see that? It's pretty cool, eh? And uh, they're like, no, we didn't see anything. Oh, okay. Anyways, now, what were, you, what were you asking me before there? And now I'm holding my sticks, right? And he's looking at me like, you mother trucker. <laughs> he knew what I did. I was playing around. So anyways, that's my step trick prank. <laughs> if you're in a, if, say you're in a music store, right? Go up to the guy and say, listen, man, I'm only here for a minute. I'm a really good drummer. You're going to want to see this. Come over to me. Give me one of your drum sets that sets up, and, and I'll show you the coolest drum step trick you'll ever see. So they all, you know, I've done this a couple times. They all come over towards the drum sets, right? And I say, I want everybody to stand in front of me. Because if you're behind me, you won't catch the joke, uh, the, 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 the stick trick, right? You gotta see it from the front. So they're all in front of me. There's, I don't know, five or six, and not very many. And I said, okay, if I do anything wrong, I said, or, or, or I forget something, tell me right away before I start doing anything, okay? So of course, I'm holding my sticks upside down. Not one, but two people go, hey, Russ, you're holding your sticks wrong. So I just come and go, ooh, look at that! So they turn around and go, <laughs> and I went like this. <laughs> Actually, I think I might have just went one at a time. Because you got lots of time. Once they turn around, they're not going to turn back right around again because they're looking for what you found, right? And after maybe two seconds, they do the old turn around again. And I go, did you see that? Wasn't that awesome? And they're like, no, we didn't see that. But now, I'm holding my stick trick. I said, so what was that you're going to say to me, bud? And that's when people start laughing because they know I flipped the sticks, right? But I only flipped the sticks because I wanted to make smiles. I'm into smiles. I'm into happiness, right? So with that said, that's the stick trick. You don't have to be a pro. All you got to do is convince them that you are the best drummer in the world, the best, nobody's better than you, type of thing. And once you got those people in front of the drum set, they have to be in front, you can't have them behind you. So when they turn right around that way to find out what you, what you are going, holy shit, dude, that's when you flip your sticks, right? So you can even go like this that slow because it takes them that long, right? Because they're going to look, and then they turn around like, Whoa. and that's when you say, whoa, 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 whoa. You didn't see that? Oh, shit. Okay. Hey, anyways, what were, you, what were you saying there, bud? And while you're scolding your sticks like this, they got no choice but to smile because you just pranked them. <laughs>